Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at JPEG files and what happens when you reduce the uh, quality when you export it. So if I take a file like this, say File Export, down here I've got a quality slider and I can go from here all the way down up to naught. There are presets up here which effectively select positions on that. So if I go here from the full one I'm going to zoom into a bit of stone here and you can see just the pixel levels there and I'll zoom into a bit of sky you can see there you're getting right down to pixels no real um, effect there uh, and this is a JPEG file at which was saved at 100% let's go to 75% control with zoom into this and when we zoom in here, what we can see the beginnings of here are squares, and this is the way one of the ways that JPEG compression is done. You can see a bit of a square, so you can edge of this. If you want to fix that, a way to do that is with Gaussian blur. And if you turn this up just a tiny amount, 0 0.1 pixel, pixels, that will knock the edges off those things. Although if you go out of here and we turn this on and off, you can see there is a difference. So that's off and on. There is some loss of definition here. You can go into here and you can type in a smaller number. So like 0 0.05. And if you watch what happens here when I hit enter, See, it just improves slightly, so that can be used to fix it. Just going to turn this off for the moment, go out here and have a look in. Here at the sky, it's pretty good here. You're not seeing much in the way of, um, of blockiness here. You tend to see that more in the, in the shadows and you know, the, the mid-tones. So let's have a look at the next one. 50%. Let's zoom into stone. And here the squares are appearing more obviously. And again, a bit of blur. And let's try that. Let's bring up the blur and we can increase the radius. A bit and see we need to bring this up a little bit more so at 0 0.1 it's still visible 0 0.2 now it's disappearing here a little bit of blur on this let's see you, you lost the quality but you're in, you're knocking out those effects and if you go into the area here if we turn off the Gaussian blur there is a little bit here of edge on it, but it's more more noticeable again in the midtones. If I go down to 25%, now I'm going in here and watch how soon, look, you can start to see those squares already. And let's just go over here and you'd need even more blur to cope with that. If you go into the sky, look, see, now you can see the breaking up of the sky. You get 25%. Again, a blur. Here it may be needed. See, we turn this up and gradually, yeah, you've got to get up to about three pixels there to get rid of that. But no, this, the edges here, you know, this is blurring quite significantly. So when you get to this kind of level, you probably need to mask out the sky and the ground separately and have separate blurs if you, this is what you're going to try and do to, to smooth things out. Particularly if you're printing, a printed picture with those uh, artifacts in are pretty, is pretty horrible. Um, and let's just for interest, let's look what happens as we go down, down to 10. And look, look at the sky now. This is completely broken up into separate colours, so this is going to be completely unrecoverable. You try blurring that and you have to go a long way 
and you'll just lose everything else. 5% worse again. 2% you can do that. Look, you're even losing a whole bunch of stuff in here. Anyway, that's the effect you get. Be very aware that if you reduce the quality when you export to a JPEG from anywhere below 100%, you're going to be seeing some effect, particularly when you get below about 70-80%. And a fix you can do if you see this in a picture is just to use a blur to knock the edge off those little artifacts. There we go and hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.